So hopefully this will be a quickie. A couple of weeks ago, I've been out of town for a while, but a couple of weeks ago, the alarm here, you see that little red light, but you can't hear the alarm because I had my wife disconnect that. Uh, my air pump died in my septic system. And I think I had this done in 2012-ish, maybe, maybe a little before that. Um, the old tank collapsed and so we put two tanks in we got two 900 gallon tanks in here and the aerator and then it pumps out into the yard the aerator helps keep these little aerobic bacteria happy <clears throat> and it's just a pump nothing too special this was a delta environmental pentair model uc50 and there's an infinity of these types of pumps around and they're kind of hard to find but the the setup's pretty simple it just has a an outlet port here which hooks up into that hose that blows into the septic tank and then there is a pressure port here that hooks to this hose that goes up into the alarm box to tell it hey stupid you know you don't have any air going into your system and it sets off an alarm which it did and uh and there's not much to it really i was surprised oh, come on God almighty this is a joke okay it was just plugged in so i thought it was hardwired um nothing terribly special so i got the new one here which is uh a high blow hp 80 which, based on my digging in this thing here, as far as the specs go, should put out the same amount of air at about the same pressure. And it also has the outlet port and the alarm port. You've got to be careful of that, because some of them don't have this if you're trying to replace this thing. So, let's see what we're going to have to do here. Set this down. <clears throat> that came with some clamps so I'm gonna try to make use of one of them see if it works and not really but it is the right size I'm gonna hook the alarm port up to the alarm port <coughs> and It in hey my light went off and it's as simple as that amazingly that is all it took and now one of the things that I didn't know about the old one because that's all I ever saw which doesn't tell me much is there may be a filter under here and I'll tell you in eight years or so I've never changed this filter which, looking at this thing, yeah, I can smell it already. So, yeah, she's cooking. Uh, but uh, I'm judging, I'm betting that these two stickers that the, that the secondary company that bought this, it looks identical to that other sticker. And it would have been good to know that I needed to clean that filter. So, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, that's as quick as that was. And now... I'm going to set the cover back on it. Ugh. Keep it out of the weather a little bit. And that's all there is to it. And I'm not going to worry about the audible alarm for now. Because it'll run for at least a while until I get back home full time. So that is as simple as that is. Unbelievable. But I probably could have gotten even longer out of it if I had known enough to change and clean the filter. Which 
I didn't, but now I do, so I hopefully shouldn't have to buy another one of these anytime soon. So, if you've got an aerated septic system, that is all you need to know, really, to change your air pump if it ever dies. Pretty simple. Not terribly cheap, it's close to $300, but in the grand scheme of seven or eight years, that's not too bad. So, talk to you later. Just for grins, I unscrewed the screw, and yeah, that could have been <laughs> one of my problems. So, it isn't much of a filter, but uh, yeah, and you can see the oil coming out of the inlet. So yeah, it, it died. But, I mean, these inlets are completely plugged up with gunk because I didn't know there was a filter under there. So, if you have one of these, it says check it every six months and change it every year. Probably worth doing that if you don't want to spend 300 bucks on a replacement. That's it.